All right, we're attempting to come down to the spring to see the beautiful steam rising off in the morning light, but it's overcast and sort of raining. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna get any steam, but anyway, nice for a normal morning swim. It's actually really, 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 really nice. It's 34 to 38 degrees, so it's like properly warm in there. Um, great way to like start the day, especially in the cooler, you know, when you wake up, it's quite cold. It's really, really nice, really good. Um, so yeah, definitely if you're in the area, come check it out. If you're about to do the Simpson or something, it's well worth the stop. And yeah, we're gonna head into Mount Dare today. Probably get a bit of lunch, and then we're gonna keep heading to Alice, and then Cam and Courtney are gonna come back and start the Simpson. So last day together. Plan for today is get to Mount Dare, just sort of take stock there, see how we're all going, um, maybe have some lunch, and if we split up, then we're going to head to Fink, and then we're going to go from Fink to the highway, highway to Alice Springs, and then we've got so much stuff to do, like just computer work to catch up on, um, a lot of emails, just a lot of stuff, a lot of people want things from us at the moment, and we're just in a really bad sort of spot to get back to them, so. We'll try and get as much as that done. Get an episode up because we're late in the episode. We just haven't, just haven't had the internet to upload the episode. Um, we wanted to get to patrons. Holly had edited it. She was smashing it. And um, she edited it, what, like a week ago? Yeah. And uh, we we're going to put it out to patrons, but just didn't happen uh, with the service. So, yeah, this is like the next leg of our trip. So, heading north, we're going to blast up to Kununurra after Alice Springs. Meet up with Adrian and then Ellen. Uh, and then we're going to do the Kimberley with them which is going to be fun, but I think it'll be a challenge. See how we go. And then Simpson on the way back, Tanamai and Simpson on the way back. So this we'll be back is, here. <laughs> we'll be back here in a couple of weeks. So this is the next phase of the trip. I think we're all a little bit apprehensive to see what the road's going to be like this morning. We've only got, what, 67 k's till Mount Dare. We really have no idea what it's going to be like. So yeah. any, if it's like what it was yesterday, it's going to take us a while. <laughs> It took us four hours to do 180 k's yesterday, yeah. so it's pretty slow going. Yeah, I think our top speed was 50. <laughs> moment has come. We're at Mount Dare Hotel. Just had a can of lunch. It was pretty good. Had a few burgers and now we're going to leave our friends. Yeah, oh, I know. Been with these guys for a couple of weeks now. We're going to leave. They're going to go to Simpson. We're going to go to Alice tonight and then, and then we're going to keep heading north. But I'll hope you, hopefully your Simpson trip goes well. You have to report back because we're going to be doing the exact same line. We'll, um, we'll let you know how it goes. Thursday or Friday. Awesome. Well, uh, yeah, we'll have to have a, you have to call us up. Have to have yeah. a ring. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Give us a debrief. See so how yeah, you went. We'll be sulking tonight. We'll be like, missed you. Right yeah. here, here from in four, you know, five or six we'll days. I'm oh, start getting the yeah, out of copper. <laughs> start getting worried. Uh, All right. Well. Bye, bye guys. Bye. Bye, bye body. Bye. bye. See you, bye, team. Guys. Missed you already. Yeah. Missed you <laughs> we'll see you soon. We'll talk soon. Drive safe. Enjoy the Simpson. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh, that's sad. <laughs> they're such legends. They're so, they're so much fun here in court. Some of the really cool people you meet on the road. So yeah, no, it's sort of lifelong friends from um, traveling around Australia. We've made a few of those, so, but they're awesome. Yeah. So yeah, we're really keen to do the canning with them next season. Yeah. Awesome. Are oh, we going bins track? No. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah.
Well, it doesn't really need much of an introduction here. We're at the Devil's Marbles, a couple of hours north of Alice Springs. We are on our way to Kununurra, so we have an absolutely huge drive over the next couple of days. We're going to try and get there tomorrow, are they? Because we're just kind of over the drive. It's not that fun when you just have to smash out this many Ks, but especially when it's getting hotter and hotter as we go. So we're probably going to try and drive actually this evening um, at night, take it easy. It's at 80 Ks now, but at least it's nice and cool. Uh, so yeah, maximum Ks ahead and excitement awaits. We'll keep going. How are you going? Good, how are you? Good. Having a good stint in the car? Yeah, it's hot. It's warm. It's getting hot. Let's yeah. keep at it, eh? Yeah. Uh, we've pulled up here just a bit of a gravel pit off the highway. Uh, we did how many hours did we do today? Uh, left at 10. Left I don't know at 10, it's like quarter past seven. So, like nine hours. Yeah. Wow. So we didn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get that far. We were going pretty slow, 90k sort of max kind of thing. So, uh, we didn't get too far. We've got the get that again tomorrow, probably a bit more actually. So, we're going to get up about 5 30 in the morning and just get going. Get it's good, you know, five hours on the road before it even gets hot because it was pretty hot this afternoon in Elsie, but that's all right. Um, it is warm tonight, we think we'll probably have a cold rinse before we go to bed. Uh, but we've already got dinner all ready to go in the in the vac sealed bag, bit of risotto. Uh, so we'll just heat that up, set up camp, go up to bed and watch Stranger Things and go to bed. So have a rinse. <laughs> Sounds like a good night. realized that in the drawer the port must have been pressing on their thing and we've poured everywhere great oh oh just pressing on the actual well, i assume so i think the, the, sack's the sack hasn't oh that's lucky well i don't know actually no it doesn't look like it's anyway. oh that's annoying how much port's in the drawer i think the cardboard box soaked up most of it oh how good I think. I think it's cask wine. <laughs> what are we gonna do with the sack now? Oh, no. <laughs> Hanging up somewhere? Yeah. So tonight we're in like ultra efficient mode. <laughs> we um we ate out of the pan. We got brekkie done already. It's uh, overnight oats. I think Court ran through it on our Udnadatta sort of trip. But pretty much it's just oats soaked in like yogurt and milk, uh, milk right. overnight and chia seeds and it just obviously soaks up all over at night and you can just eat it in the morning we put a bit of golden syrup and nuts with it so that's done so all we need to do is just cook coffee on the um jet boil boil some water and get going we're going to get up at about five yeah. we're going to just crack on with it yeah it is still so hot in this vehicle <laughs> it's like, muggy the outside temperature compared to the temperature in here is just dramatically different <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We 
have a goon sack in a washing out container because the box got pierced yesterday and has tiny little holes in the goon. Sorry, the goon sack, the, the port. <laughs> Don't have a goon sack, but it's in a goon sack. Anyway, we're heaps classy travellers. Anyways, we're just going to have to drink heaps of port at camp. Pretty good hustle this morning. It's, um... It's 5.22. 5.22, we got up at... We, the alarm went off at 5. So, alarm went off at 5, had coffee, breakfast is already done, and see if Elsie starts. I'll do it with one hand, I'm sorry. <coughs> Just doing a wiggle when I come out. So this is the usual wrestling match we have with LC in the morning. Just checking all the fusible links. But honestly, what I do here is wiggle around. Let's try a glow it now. You just, how about you just keep wiggling it? Is that white one again? Yeah, just leave it. Yeah, just going. <coughs> So, now that we've successfully wiggled the wires just the right way, Elsie will glow, and then she'll start and stop once because I think oil pressure or something, and then I'll do it again and it'll go, and then I'll rev it a bit, and she'll leave. Might even not stop this morning because it's not, not very cold, cold so... What Matt is doing is wiggling more wires. We're having issues with our high beams and they're working fine and all of a sudden they just clicked off. It happened while we were in the Flinders the other day. Usually if you wiggle a few wires, it'll get going again. Yeah, it's still wiggling. The sun's gonna come up soon, so it might, yeah, we'll just, you know, hopefully some wiggling will work and then we'll get back on the road, but um, they work if he, They work if he holds them on, but they just won't stay on. So, yeah, we'll see how he goes. We made it to Catherine. We're just having some lunch, having a panini, and many, it's hot. Yeah, it's getting warm. How many hours have you been on the road for? I've been on the road since, well, it's 11.30 now, since 5.30, so a little while, and, um, yeah, we've got five and a half hours to go from Catherine to Kununurra, but we're halfway for today, which is good. And then that is kind of where we want to get, so that's good. We're smashing it out. Yeah. Alice Springs to Kununurra in two days. Yeah, 1,750 k. 90 kilometers now. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a while. Yeah. Um, we filmed a well. Q&A before. Hopefully the audio for that is okay. If not, um, we just spoke to ourselves for 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't surprise um, me if that's what happened. Yeah, if it is up, make sure you check it out. And yeah, we just answer a few questions that people had about, mainly about a new car, where it is and whatnot. So anyway, we, um, yeah, we're gonna have some lunch. This is the Solid Technics can. Oh yeah, we mentioned this, mentioned this in our Q&A. 
Should I mention it now? Yeah. So Holly bought me this pan for my birthday. Um, oops, sorry, just flipping the paninis. Yeah, Holly bought me this pan for my birthday. I saw it in the shop and I was like, oh, it's a really nice looking pan. It wasn't cheap. Um, Aussie made, it's wrought iron, so pressed from one piece of iron. Um, the difference this bit of cast iron is uh, it works on induction as well. Um, so if you've got a little induction cooktop in a camper or in your touring rig, you can use it on induction and you can throw it straight in the fire as well because it's a saw metal. Um, so we've been using it on the fire, gas, um, everything. It's just a really, it's a life, lifetime warranty on it. Um, it's just a no-nonsense span, but it just works really, really well, really nicely, you know, nice and even heat um, when you're cooking. So I'll just check this. So yeah, Matt ended up getting onto the company um, and said, look, I really like your product. I want to promote it on my channel. Um, and they said, sweet, no worries. And now we have a um, discount code discount for our audience. So it's only until August. Yeah, end of August. So if you um, put in the code Overland, we you will get one pan for free if you spend over. What was it two hundred and eighty bucks? Two hundred and eighty dollars. So get. yeah, they're not cheap, but they're like yeah. really nice gift for someone who likes cooking or like I love it. As I said, it was a birthday present that Holly got me. We bought, and then I just got on the company. I was like, "This is a really good product." So, yeah, we love it. Yeah, get on it. We just hit ninety-seven thousand LC, so in three thousand k's time, we've got a brand new Land Cruiser. I wonder what a forty series with zero k's in the pocket would get in today's market. I know. Probably like a couple of hundred grand. I'm not even joking. What do you know without insurance? What with the k's? Yeah. Oh, it says it's got three k's on it. Like. Ah, uh, how many k's is it done? <laughs> so a massive oversized road train just went past and the road was actually quite thin where we were. Um, you could see the dust on our side of the road was getting blown up from the road train and it threw... I still try to move over and like... Well yeah, moving. as far as you could but there was really nowhere for us to go and it's thrown this rock up and it's Good. It's 
tomorrow we've got a day of just fixing up a few things and then doing a supply run, water, food, and then we're going bush again. Up into the Kimberley. You, Deep River Road. Oh shit, I'm sitting you. Ugh. See, I am going, I am going crazy. <laughs> Waterfront, uh, non powered campsite in front of Adrian. So, oh, near the beer in the fridge now. I can feel the beer. You know, running down my throat. Look who's back. Guess who's back. <laughs> and Ellen, meet Ellen. Hello. Hi guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> As always guys, thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We really hope you enjoyed watching what it can really be like while you travel around Australia. Join us next week as we start traveling from Kununurra up into the Kimberley.